Hello everyone. Let us see something about www and HTTP. This is World Wide Web and Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So the World Wide Web today is a distributed client server service in which the client using a browser can access a service uh, from the server. However, the service provided is distributed over many locations called sites of the website that need not be at the same location. So we will be discussing about uh, browser, server and URL uniform resource locator. So uh, when we see about the architecture of www, so when the client wants some data, it sends the request to the server and that server need not be at the same site. It may be in site A. When the request goes, the corresponding uh, uh, response comes as the form of web page if it was requested. And if the request goes to site B, then the web page is being written. And here the browser acts as the intermediate thing where it acts as a controller to uh, handle various application layer protocols like HTTP, FTP, Telnet, SMTP and so on which we will be learning. And it also handles the corresponding interpreters like HTML, JavaScript, Java and so on so that the browser handles the Java virtual machine uh, and displays the contents which is being received from the server using various protocols. So what is Uniform Resource Locator? So this is going to be uh, identifying a particular resource on uh, the server at various places. So we have to specify the corresponding uh, protocol at the front colon double slash the host the name of the host colon the port will be 8080 slash the corresponding path of the corresponding file in that domain space right so it may be http colon double slash www dot uh, google dot com colon 8080 slash some particular path in which uh, the content is available in the server so there are kinds of web documents which are available the way in which it is being stored and retrieved so they can be grouped into three categories static dynamic and active so this is based on the time at which the contents of the documents are determined or prepared so they are static dynamic and active so normal static document is like the client sends a request to the server and the server has the static html document which is already available and that is being sent to the client so that is static document no changes will be made in between and it is the same content which is given to all the clients so uh, when it when it contains such a tag html tag with capital B slash capital B tag then when the content is being given to the browser what does the browser do the boldface tag is taken care and it displays the text in a boldface to format so this is what is the change which browser does from the content received and the content displayed and there can also be some other attributes for uh, the content so it need not be only bold it can be uh, it can be any tag right so there is going to be a tag name and if it is text so it will be text and it has some attribute values it may be font it may be face it may be color or anything so that has to be specified and then its value so the color may be red or black or anything and there are also other options and this is the beginning of that particular tag and yeah, that particular uh, tag is that 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 particular specification is applicable for all the contents which is in between and finally the end tag is going to end that feature so if it is going to be build, uh, made bold then until we put slash tag name until that tag is ended so it is going to be bold and so when the client sends a request in case of dynamic HTML document, so the server is going to 
uh, search for the corresponding content it may also be a program or a service so uh, based on that one uh, the content is being taken and it is being uh, delivered to the client and this is not the same content uh, which is going to be there for all the request it may be different and here the, it is going to be a computer generated imaginary uh, imagery which is going to uh, uh, be displayed and uh, uh, through a common gateway interface so it is going to be shown to the client for example if it is going to be a uh, uh, script right so uh, when the request is going to be on the uh, server side sent to the server side then the script is run it may be javascript or anything and that uh, VB script anything and that is being run at the uh, in the run inside the HTML document it is being identified it is run uh, inside and the server side itself and the uh, resulting dynamic HTML document is sent to the client and it is being displayed to the client so dynamic documents are sometimes referred to as server side dynamic documents whereas there may be applet solution so in case of Java applet it is uh, when the request is being sent to the server the applet the corresponding applet program is identified and that is being sent and the java virtual machine available in the browser takes care of executing that uh, applet and showing you the result so this is uh, in case of active document at the client side there can also be uh, java script which is run at the client side so client side script is also possible so active documents are sometimes referred to as client side dynamic documents let us see about http in the next video